same little chair with a pale pink mist of a foolish dream. I am being foolish. Then be foolish with me. What would you dream of? Why, uh, an invitation to the ball, I guess. Right here. There's an invitation. What? But it's torn. Oh, don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just go. Now, what else would you dream of? Oh, a white gown, I'd imagine. Oh, a beautiful white gown, all sewn up with, with pearls and, and jewels. Oh, and a tiara of diamonds. And on your feet? Why, the most beautiful throw-bright pumps, I'd imagine. No. <laughs> Better. You know, the Venetian glass your stepmother so loves in her trinkets and baubles. An entire pair of shoes made only a Venetian glass. <laughs> I'd be the envy of all, but um, how would I get to the ball? Uh, this pumpkin? Yes. Oh, I'll turn it into a golden carriage. Oh, and, and horses? Mm. Oh, these nice traps in this cage! Oh, and uh, a jackalope as a footman, and uh, a raccoon as a driver. Oh, you are crazy, Marie. Why, in order to do that, you'd have to be a, a fairy godmother. Crazy women in them. <laughs> Are you really my fairy godmother? But of course, my child. Well, actually, I'm everyone's fairy godmother. But you are the only one who showed me charity, generosity, and kindness. And now I must make all the dreams we laughed about come true. Oh, but that's so improbable. The implausible. Pumpkin to become a golden carriage, impossible. For a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage, and four white mice will never be four white horses. Such vulnerable and fiddly of courses, impossible. Never, I, I couldn't. Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs>